in this video i'll be talking about flutter notification with firebase we get notified from our application and there are actually three scenarios when your app is in live state means your app you have already opened your app and when notification comes uh, there another one when your app is in background state means your app is already running but you have minimized it and you have opened some another application at that time that notification will occur how we will handle that and the last one when your app is in terminated state means your application is already closed and when you receive that notification we will see on tap redirection means let any notification occurs on tap of that we want to navigate to some specific screen or we want to perform some specific functionalities we will see that so we will use here device token for sending notification and also we will discuss here what is payload and how to send payload and we will understand how we can send notification from one device to another device i just want to request you if you are watching this video so please do not skip it during the tutorials it would be like so much time consuming for you let's suppose if you skip something and uh, i'm making some minor changes then you may face error and you will waste your enough time so just wanted to request you to please do not skip it and watch it till the end hi everyone once again welcome back to my channel till now we have successfully did crud operation with uh, flutter firebase and also we completed authentication part with firebase in this application source code is available on git link in the description you can check that so in this video we will talk about or we will learn how to get notification with the help of firebase in our flutter application so for that we need to add one more package let's go to pubdev type here flutter local notification this one paste it here so our package is installed need to install one more package app settings both the packages are installed after this we will work with permissions and all because now android application as per guideline of google play store now android mobile phone also ask for notification permissions if user agree then or if user gives the permission then it will allow particular application for showing notification otherwise we need to go to settings and from there we need to enable so these things we will see in this video actually notification is a big topic so i will create video for notification in part wise so this is actually introduction kind of video where i have installed all the necessary package and given you introduction about what is notification what kind of functionality in notification we will have to perform so in next part of this video we will be working on notifications and one last thing i want to tell you in this video that after installing package and all you need to run your project once again so that each and every connection with the package will be done perfectly and your app will run without any issue we'll meet you in next part of this video